What's up guys, today in this video you get to know how to farm every resources in Hades by showing you how to get them all with tips on how to farm them in a fast manner during runs so you will be getting them in no time. So if that sounds interesting, let's get into it. So first we are going to talk about how to get all the resources in the game and then talk about the run or let's say tips on getting resources quickly. So it is easier to understand what I'm saying if you know how to get the resources first. First up are the darkness crystals. They are mainly used for upgrading the mirror of night. You get them from chamber rewards and if they got a skull you will get rewarded more. Opening infernal troves what are unlocked at the house contractor. Completing prophecies from the faded list of minor prophecies. What you unlock at the house contractor. Special deals from the wretched broker. Beating the bosses if you already have beaten it before on the current heat level from the pact of punishment. This comes available after beating the final boss in the game. Buying Tinge of Erebus from the Well of Karen and buying them from Karen's shops. Selecting a weapon with Dark Thirst buff on it will increase the amount of darkness drops during runs by 20%. Picking up the Poseidon Boon Ocean Bounty will increase the amount of darkness dropped from Chamber Rewards. This will include the boss's darkness rewards as well. The Sunken Treasure Boon from Poseidon also drops darkness crystals. The Chaos Eclipse boon increases the amount of darkness crystals dropped from any source and is stackable. Catching fish in the Chaos Realm and handing them over to the head chef in the lounge. Sisyphus and Tartarus, what is the first level, also gives you darkness crystals. And as a companion, can also give you darkness crystals. So that is how you get darkness. Now we're going to talk about how to get the gemstones. The gemstones are mainly used for the house contractor upgrades and also can be used to gain other resources at the Ratchet Broker. They are dropped from Chamber Rewards and if they got a skull you will get rewarded more gemstones. Rewards from opening up Infernal Troves, completing prophecies, special deals at the Ratchet Broker are rewarded from beating bosses if you unlock the Vanquisher's Keep from the house contractor. Buying JS treasure from the Well of Karen and buying them from the Karen shops. Selecting a weapon what has the darker thirst buff on it, but you first need to unlock this option at the house contractor to get the bonus for the gems. The Poseidon Boon Ocean Bounty will increase the amount of drop from the chamber rewards. And the Poseidon Boon Sunken Treasure will drop you gems as well. The Chaos Boon Eclipse will increase the amount of drop from any source. Catching Fizz and Tartarus, what is the first level, and in the Temple of Sticks, what is the fourth level, and turn them in at the Head Chef. So that is how you get the gemstones in the game. Now we talk about getting Ketonic Keys. They are mainly used for unlocking the Infernal Arms weapons and unlocking new abilities from the Mirror of Night, but also can be used to gain other resources by trading at the Wretched Broker. They are rewarded from Chamber Rewards, and you can buy them at the Karen Shop during runs. You can also get them from completing some prophecies. Fishing in Ospedal and turning them into the Head Chef will grant you keys and are obtainable from the Wretched Broker. And those are the only ways to get the keys. Next up is Nectar. What is used to increase your relationships with people in the game? They can be found in Chamber Rewards. Have a chance to drop from the Infernal Trove as an additional reward. Completing prophecies. Trading at the Wretched Broker. The Poseidon Boon Sunken Treasure also has a chance to drop you Nectar. The boon from Dionysus Premium Vintage also gives you a free nectar drop when picking it up. And catching fish in Elysium and turning them into the head chef will get you nectar. So now we're going to talk about how to get the higher end resources. These are diamonds, ambrosia and titan blood. Diamonds are used for unlocking more expensive stuff at the house contractor. And you can also be used for trading at the ratchet broker. You can get them from beating the second boss fight in the game. And will be attainable again by increasing the heat with the Pact of Punishment for resetting the bounty. You can also get them from completing Prophecies, trading at the Wretched Broker. You have a chance that you can buy one from Karen's shop at the Temple of Sticks. The Boon Sunken Treasure from Poseidon also has a chance to drop one, but it, the chance is really small. And if you fish a trout in Greece, that is the final boss area, and turn it into the Head Chef will grant you a diamond. So that is how you get the diamonds. Now Ambrosia is up next. This is mainly used to maximize the relationships in the game after you can't give them any nectar anymore. You get them from beating the third boss in the game and is obtainable again with the Pact of Punishments. 
completing prophecies, trading at the Ratchet Broker and fetching a bass in Greece and turn it into the head chef to get a Ambrosia dropped. Now we have the final resource in the game and that is Titan Blood and is used to upgrade the Infernal Arms weapon aspects. They are rewarded from beating the first and final boss in the game and are obtainable again with the Pact of Punishment, completing prophecies, trading at the Ratchet Broker. You have a chance that you can buy one from Karen's shop in the Temple of Sticks and fishing a Sturgeon in Greece and bring it to the Head Chef. So that is how you get all the resources in the game. This means we got the boring stuff out of the way and now we are getting to the more interesting stuff, the run guide for actually getting these things. So to start this off, you can farm gems and darkness really fast in the game with the Chaos Boon Eclipse. What is stackable and how rarer it is, how higher the percentage. So if you are about to farm gems and darkness, this boon is a must have in the run. Before you start the run, equip the weapon with the Dark Thirst buff on to increase the amount of darkness and gems dropped by 20%. Then I recommend the abilities Golden Touch to gain more coins for buying stuff, Olympian Favor to get more rare boons, God's Pride to get more epic boons, and Faded Persuasion for rerolling boons and wells of Karen, because that is where we're going to use them mostly. Get the Chaos Keepsake as well, so you get more rarer boons from him and start your run with no heat if you already beated it on that and got the boss rewards to farm Darkness Crystals from bosses. So here we need to get the Chaos Gate, it is all RNG to make this work, but you have a chance to make it spawn more quickly. You want to go through the first level to get the Chaos Gate to get the Boon Eclipse. If you didn't get the Boon before leaving the first level, it is better to just die and restart the run. If you go through the first level, take rooms where Wells of Karen can spawn and also Chaos Gates. If you are lucky, you can buy a Light of Ixion at the Well of Karen, and this one is stackable. You can also try rerolling a Well of Karen to get it, but I recommend doing this just once so you don't waste any rerolls. And if you got a Chaos Gate and the Eclipse Boon isn't there, you can try rerolling the boons from Chaos to get it. If you do get it, now you can continue the run for farming. You know from the start of the video how to get Darkness and Gems rewarded in general, but here again during the run, you want to focus on having the Eclipse Boon first. Then go to the rooms for the resource you are farming, darkness or gems. Check infernal troves during the run. Go to rooms where wells of Karen can spawn so you can buy darkness and gems from it. But also buy the items that will guarantee you to have a fishing spot, infernal troves and chaos gate in the next room. Of course, fish in every realm to gain resources. You can prioritize the Poseidon boons so you can get the ocean bounty and sunken treasure for even more resources. And of course, beat the bosses for the rewards as well. I also recommend going to the coin rooms. Those are the Karen coins to buy stuff. So you can buy stuff from Wells of Karen and don't buy anything else really to save money. But you can still buy Poseidon boons so you get a chance to gain more resources from the boons. And if you want, you can buy diamonds and titan blood at the Temple of Sticks if you have that much money left. So that is it for farming darkness and gems. This method is the best way. And again, if you're doing these runs, the Chaos Boon Eclipse is just the best for this. So you should prioritize that boon before any other boon or reward. To get Ketonic Keys and Nectar, it is best to farm gems and then go to the Wretched Broker to trade gems for Ketonic Keys and use them to trade for Nectar. This is the fastest way to get them and I recommend not bother farming them during runs. Only gems because you can farm much more gems faster than keys and nectar. For the higher end resources, it is best to complete the game on higher heat with the Pact of Punishment to complete the bounties for beating the bosses. This can be done on each of the weapons up to 20 heat skulls, then you will need to farm them via runs, buying them in the Temple of Sticks, fishing and trading at the Wretched Broker. You can also try using the farm run to farm gems with having the heat on, but the game might be too hard for you to only focus on getting resources and end up dying because you didn't focus on getting stronger in the run, so you aren't able to beat the bosses to gain the bounty rewards. And overall, when you are playing the game, to check the faded list of minor prophecies to complete them, to gain resources from it to add up to the farming you do during runs, or just playing the game in general. But guys, that is how you find all the resources in Hades and also how you can farm them effectively if you are interested 
and how it runs like this go you can check out the video stream for it when it comes available but that does it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful if you have some questions about the topic leave them in the comment section like the video to support and subscribe for more content but guys i thank you for watching and i see you all next time